Hello dear kids, hope all are fine and doing well at home. Today we are going to learn a chapter from the unit Knowing Ourselves. What do you wear? You wear different types of clothes, isn't it? Let's learn about a new chapter today, which is your second chapter and the chapter name is What I Wear. You can see the mind map of the video what I bear here okay so under this we would learn the story of cloth and the clothes are made by spinning and weaving and by knitting you would learn the process of coloring and about creating patterns so under this we would learn about the tie and dye block printing Kalamkari, Batik and Embroidery. First, let's learn about the cloth story. Okay? A long time ago, the early humans used to wear animal skins and leaves of trees to cover and protect them from heat, cold and rain. With time, Human beings learn to make cloth using cotton, wool and silk. These are obtained from plants and animals. These days, most of the clothes produced are made with the machines. Do you know how is cloth made? It is made using different methods such as spinning, weaving and knitting. First let's learn about spinning. Spinning is a process through which cotton balls are converted into yarn. Have you heard about weaving? Weaving is a process by which two sets of thread are crossed together on a loom that means in a machine. This process converts the thread into fabric. Next let's learn about knitting. It is a process of making woolen clothes with the help of two needles. It can also be done using machines. Next let's learn the process of coloring. Dyeing is a process through which pieces of cloth are colored. They are soaked in a solution of hot water and colored dyes. The color of a piece of cloth can be changed using a dye. There are two types of dyes. Okay? Number one is natural dyes. These can be obtained from plants and vegetables. For example, green color from spinach blue from indigo and red from beetroot. The second type of dye is chemical dyes. These dyes are made from chemicals. Next let's learn about creating patterns. Different designs and patterns are made on cloth using different methods such as tie and dye, block printing, Kalamkari, Batik and Embroidery. First, let's learn about tie and dye. Okay? The tie and dye method is used in creating designs. Dyed cloth can be folded, twisted and tied in any pattern of our choice. This method is practiced widely in Gujarat and Rajasthan. You can see a block printing here. Wooden blocks are created on which various designs are carved. After this, different colors are applied on the raised surface of the block. The block is then pressed upon a piece of cloth to create patterns. This process is now used on paper as well. Next let's learn about Kalamkari. In this method, a special pen or kalam 
is used to create designs on cloth. This process is used in both painting and printing. Our next method is batik. In this technique, wax and dye are used to create different patterns on cloth. Before dyeing the cloth, hot wax is put on some parts of it. After the wax cools down, it is removed and a beautiful pattern is formed in the portions where the dye does not seep in. Our next method is the most common methods of creating designs on a piece of cloth. What is that? It's embroidery. It is created by hand using colorful threads. Nowadays, machines are also used. The types of embroidery vary from one state of India to another. Here, you can see the image of chicken curry, which is of Uttar Pradesh. Now, what you see is full curry of Punjab. This is Kanda of West Bengal. The cloth can be stitched in different types of garments, for example, salva suits and kurta pajamas. And you all know that saris and dhotis are unstitched garments. In this video, we learned about what I wear. We learned how clothes are made, isn't it? It is by spinning, weaving and knitting. We also learned about the process of coloring and also about creating the patterns. Hope you have understood more about clothes. So take care. Bye.